I started out in high school, basically. We, I was doing agriculture, I remember very well. And then uh, just one afternoon, the art teacher was on duty, actually, that week. So, you know, Kopale, you just uh, drawing Majembe and all everyone there on the board for, for the students to copy. And then uh, the, the art teacher actually was the, by the window for quite a while. Then after the lesson, you know, she told me what? From now you are an art student. <laughs> just like that. Then I, I also did not experience a very good... Um, my, my life during that time was quite tough. So um, art was more of a hibernation point. You know, I, I used to run, you know, I used to hide in it. Mm. So it, 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 I, a lot of self, low self-esteem, a lot of, you know. So I used art to basically to try to come up, try to level myself with the rest of the people, try to show I can also belong, you know. So that's how it started. I learned how to do now fabric uh, decoration now using prints and all that. Then I, I switched that now on to my advantage to to print t-shirts. So I started printing t-shirts for class, not not for classes, sorry for for clubs in school. You know there are different type of clubs. There is CU, Junior Achievers, what what what. So I started doing t-shirts for them. I started doing t-shirts for individuals. So by the time I I was finishing school, I already had a skill. You know, and then um, after that that was my end. I passed very well. Of course, I wanted to. I I I I, I was to go to to the university, uh, but unfortunately, we were not able financially. So I proceeded printing from my my mom's house, so I could pick, get t-shirts, print, get deposits. You give me a, a deposit, I buy a t-shirt for you. You know, I, I, that's how I started. Just printing, screen printing, screen printing. But it was a stepping stone for me. Um, then I don't eat the money. You know that's where the, the whole the whole secret is, <laughs> whereby people you'll get into the business as much as you're earning. Because I remember my first books were, you know, seventy shillings, fifty bob. Those were those are the, the amounts you're making. You know, those, that, that was profit. Now. That was that was sale, not even profit. Oh. Okay, not I'll, I'll call it I'll call it markup, mm. if I can use a simple word, because that is after you deduct the amount you spend for for all the expenses Materials, basically. Yeah. Then your profits depend on orders. Um, they kept on growing, then faithfulness and commitment into the business, making sure you separate. I separated myself from the business. I used to pay myself. I used to make sure that every money that comes in, whichever, whichever amount, as as a little as it can be, I used to make sure that it's banked. You know, um, even I, even if I needed to buy paint, I'll go bank the money, then get the money out. It's an expense, of course, with the, at the ATM or either with the withdrawal fee. But again, it helped me keep my books properly. Mm. It helped me be disciplined to make sure that that money is at par, you know. Um, so some of those small things help me. So the, the problem with design is that it, it, you can't do design without without knowledge about it. Mm. You know, you have to have some basis of it. Uh, technical or either, you know, some education, basically. So I was studying, but I was studying by the cyber. <laughs> um, you know, there's something, being driven by passion, you know, you'll get any material and utilize it to your advantage. So I, u- I used to do that. Then later, after like a year or two, I think, uh, it's when I got um, to know I can actually apply in uh, some schools, online schools. And that's what I did. There is a, a, an institution called uh, ED, Interior, Interior Design Institute of Australia. That is where I, that's what, where I did my first course for interior design. Um, I'm happy because they gave me some international standards. Basically, the comparisons were good. Mm. The things you're taught are fast world. So by the time you get into the market, at least your, 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 your information is, is not local. So you impress people easily. I was taken to, <laughs> I was taken to the armed forces at some point. Mm-hmm. I, I, I few, okay, things, okay, let me say I, I ran away. Okay, <laughs> or whatever, I, yeah. And then I came back, tried to do this, you know, I was, I, I remember at some point even my mom was getting irritated because I was, uh, I was one of those guys who will have paint everywhere, you know, sofa in a kid, in a rang, in meza in a rang, <laughs> she would complain on a daily basis, but she was supportive, and you know, and then um, I started doing weddings, that was 
I would say it was a by the way. Mm-hmm. It's something that just started from someone just uh, gave me an idea. Why can't you help me? Actually, I was not doing even mm-hmm. as my own. Then I did the first wedding. Decoration went very well. Then I started having a different twist on how wedding decorations are done. So I was infusing a lot of art in uh, the way they approach for to the to the event and also to the idea. The theme were the, my themes were very well thought of. Mm-hmm. So I basically I was adding another revenue stream into my system. Uh, then I started um, doing um, graffiti on my tattoos, on uh, tuk-tuks. When I, now tuk-tuks are actually coming, they were quite new, but they were coming up. Uh, but but my tattoos were my, one of my biggest clients. Uh, but I was doing all these things knowing that the ultimate goal is to become an interior designer. I decided uh, a certain day, a certain, a certain month, a certain day, actually it was a certain year, a certain month, a certain day, I will stop doing t-shirts. So regardless of whatever comes, even if I get a bill of, you know, how many millions, I was not going to take it. Specifically because um, I, 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 I already start, had started getting some few works here and there. Although getting works as an, a young interior designer who has no experience, no education in, in it, especially local education, mm-hmm. uh, people you know people people ask you, so may I uh, People want to uh, to hear you mentioning KUs, yeah. you, you know, for credibility basically, because you don't have papers, you don't have any work. If you produce a picture, is what you can do, what you say you can do, not what you've done, because yeah. you don't have people who are giving you, you know, the platforms, the to, chance to yeah, even the chance prove to, yourself. Yes. Yeah. Then uh, the day came. We stopped. I closed down the workshop, and I stayed without work. And I was not okay. <laughs> I know you expected me to say I was okay. Yeah. I was not okay, of course, because there is income. There, there is, there is uh, expenses mm-hmm. still. There is bills to pay. And then, and at this time you were married. Yes, I was married okay. actually. And then so, something, something amazing about confidence. Uh, I used to, when someone asked me, I, I, I meet a prospect. Uh, you are an interior designer? Yes, no, no, no. So where are your offices? They're in Nyali. Where in Nyali? Uh, don't mind, you can actually meet in, uh, in a restaurant, you know. Anywhere, anywhere you know, I, I'm trying to make it look as if it's, <laughs> it's easier for me to meet you wherever you want, you know. Yeah. Because I don't want us to get into so much uh, into detail of where my office is. Mm-hmm. So there's a, a day I was cornered, actually, I had to borrow an office, you know. But ideally, I had a virtual office mm-hmm. in Nyali for the longest. Uh, but my office was in the house. But no, that's her home. You can't bring people in. Yeah. And then it's not a formal office. It's just a room that has space that you can always say, this is my office. Yeah. You know. And you know, now people are getting to embrace um, businesses that start from the home. Yes. But in your time, yes. people are t- not. Telling someone my office is my house yes. was very Number one, new. credibility issues start rising. Yeah. Um, number two, people start feeling you know there is no one to trace him and as a hammer when you yeah. you know all the odds were against me then I asked myself will I sit down cry will I you know have sympathy I've already decided I don't want to do this I really just started telling people no sayo I don't know what happens by the way Sayo, and you want to be, ah, thank you, Mazi, Nataka, 200 pieces, Nataka, 2,000 studios, and eh, you must get, eh, 2,000 pieces. Okay, you keep getting sabu, eh, you're a person in Giza. Ah, you So, uh, my decision, I, I backtracked a bit, uh, but um, I, I, I had not feel seen it. Mm-hmm. So, I didn't go back to printing. Mm-hmm. However, during my journey in the printing business, I had already gotten some good contacts in Nairobi, mm-hmm. some, you know, Maybe business allies, people you can work with. So uh, for a period, I used to when I get to work, I was no marketing it actually. But it, you know, to serve my clients, the people who were in the system. When I get to work, I'll do the design bit. I send them if you approved. I send them to Nairobi for printing. Then they come. I did that for for a while, but I, it's not something I really wanted to do for long. Um, miraculously, uh, there was back in 2015. Yeah, 2015. Uh, I got, you know, I was, I was online was my best friend then. Mm-hmm. So I was applying for many things: funding, seed capital, capitalists, people, cap- uh, capitalist ventures, you know. Mm-hmm. So I got this. I, I ha- applied several, mm-hmm. and uh, many, you know, zile I'm sorry, zile So there is one, uh, a Nigerian one, uh, that was uh, by 
an organization called uh, Tony Elmelu uh, uh, Foundation. They had, they were beginning, actually 2015 was the, was the first year, so they had this concept whereby they wanted to equip African entrepreneurs 10,000 in 10 years. So that means in a year they were taking only 1,000. To, they were training you and equipping you and giving you a seed capital to start whatever idea you had. Mm-hmm. So you, so the questionnaire was like a whole two hours, three hours. Basically, it's so detailed. You write up your your whole business plan mm-hmm. and then hope that you'll be picked. Yeah. So across Africa, there were almost 110,000 applicants and they only needed 1,000. Fortunately, I was one of them. Mm. Yes, and I was... I was happy. We were, I was, I was, I, we were two actually from Mombasa, and then from Kenya, we were Nairobi wa, was the majority. Mm-hmm. So we went through the training for almost six, seven months, and then we went for a boot camp in Nigeria, Lagos. Uh, then after that, the whole process, people who qualified, because after all that, not everyone qualified as well for, yeah. for seed capital. So the ones who qualified, we were given uh, five thousand dollars to to now the idea that has been was you are developing over the six months mm-hmm. now to, to invest in it. Mm-hmm. So then I had, um, then, then I came back to Kenya. I, my idea was around two, three million. I only had 500,000 mm-hmm. in Kenyan shillings. Now from the, from Tell Me Melo Entrepreneurship. Yeah. In it. Then, <coughs> um, a struggle kidogo, hapa kwangalia, how will I do this? You know, there's some things I wanted to import. You know, basically, I couldn't make it with 500,000 shillings only. I, had, I didn't have any credit uh, passed. I, I had never borrowed, so I, I know. You're not credit worthy until you know, people test how much you can pay. You know? yes. So there came a chance to apply for Lions Day. It's a, it's a Kenyan, you know, uh, it's a Kenyan uh, copy of um, Shark Tank. Shark Tank. Yeah. I applied and I was called. Then I needed, uh, for the idea, not for the company, I needed uh, two million shillings to set up a workshop, a showroom, uh, at, with a, with an exchange of ten percent equity for the idea, not for the company. Yeah. But unfortunately, they twisted the whole thing, and then they wanted the company, not the idea. Then now so they wanted the company for what percent? Forty-nine percent equity. Equity from ten percent. Mm. So they were undervaluing my business. Basically, the idea I had valued it for like you know. Uh, for around 20 million, mm-hmm. the idea itself. Yeah. So then I needed 10% for 2 million, mm-hmm. if you do the mathematics. Yeah. Uh, then all of a sudden now they want the whole mother and the sons and everything yeah. inside then. And then also now they, they undervalue it to make it the 2 million for 49%. So the mathematics were not making sense to me. And then again, uh, the caveats were many. You know, they wanted me to stop doing interior design to focus on the product only. You know, there were so many things they had. Uh, the persons who were interested. Mm-hmm. There are people who said, mm, they wouldn't go for it. Mm-hmm. Uh, they gave me time to think. I came back to the set and I said, no, I needed money. Let me tell you. Mm-hmm. Honestly, deep down, I really needed that, that two million shillings. Mm-hmm. But the, the weight it was coming with, it was, not, it was not something I could have gone for. You know? I saw the pro and cons and the pro and cons, the cons were many. Mm-hmm. Uh, then they were turning me into an employee. I don't have any experience being employed. They were turning me into a one, you know, a one product. Just in case, what 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 happens to when this product, in case it comes into the market and it fails, you know, things happen. So they wanted to lock you to a particular product. Yes. And help um, use you to push that what one product. One product. But your vision was not. This was just my part vision of was my different. Business. And then again, you you know that I'm not good in marketing, and mm-hmm. that that's my weakest link. Mm-hmm. So they were using that one and making me a marketer indirectly. Because now, why do you tell me to market a product? Mm-hmm. Basically, you're telling to push me to just push one product into the, into the industry. Then this is an idea. I am not very sure. Mm-hmm. You know, an idea, it's a risk at the end of the day. Yeah. As much as you, are, you, have, you, have, you have so many uh, man hours put into deriving, coming up with a business plan, and you know, all sealing all the loopholes, still it can fall. Mm-hmm. There were some investors around the country who saw it and they were willing to go into for, for it. They were not uh, affiliated with Lions then. They just saw it after it, it, it aired. But, um, you know, there's something, there's something with confidence. Sometimes you step in a certain platform, then you realize your worth more than you had. Mm. You realize that, ah, huh, Kumbe, I have this, you know. And then you know, some of these things are also, they're also, 
they're, they're also driven by self-esteem. Mm-hmm. Especially where I grew. Uh, I grew knowing I'm, you know, we are poor, I'm a loser, I'm, you know, yeah, I, uh, father issues, so many things. So you grow with that, you know, one trouser every Sunday. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's just chaotic, yeah. you know. I used to have a t-shirt, a combat t-shirt everywhere <laughs> I used to go, you know. And uh, my girlfriend then, who is my wife now, she, she used to call me Ule Boy wa Kaleka T-shirt ka combat, you know. <laughs> the same. Mm-hmm. So that one, it kills your self-esteem. Yeah. It kills your desire to, 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 be, to be seen, you know. So when all of a sudden you, you start getting confidence, ah, kumbe ina weze kana, kumbe na, you know, ah, kumbe na weza. Then that one gave me the confidence to continue saying I can, alone, just alone. Mm. And then again, somehow it made me think faster. What else can I do with whatever I have? So I don't eat on the 500,000 shillings. I decided, you know what, I'm starting with this. I'm not waiting for this to, I, this is what I want, but I don't have it. So I'm starting with this. So I, 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 I imported my first consignment. It came, I didn't have a shop, I didn't have anywhere to take it, to I took house. it to my house. <laughs> so I was selling them from the house. Mm-hmm. Uh, your office don't mind. Do you, where do you want, you know, the best thing about now, the product I have, is I'm not fitting it in my house. I'm mm-hmm. fitting it in your house. <laughs> <laughs> or your space or your so business. What, what is so, that you are selling? I was selling 3D panels. Mm-hmm. I was the first person actually to import them into Kenya. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, 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 basically, in a, in a nutshell, my idea when I went to when I went to Lagos, my idea was to set up a business, an interior design business, which uh, focuses on wall solutions that are not common. In Kenya, wall solutions are three: wallpaper, mm-hmm. paint, paint, or cladding. So cladding, ni mawe, ni nini. Wallpaper, of course, is just wallpaper. Yeah. And then paint is now different textures of paint, paint itself, and all that. So if you think about it, we are quite limited to whatever options there are there. Mm-hmm. But when you look at the world, there are so many options, especially on the cladding issue. Mm-hmm. So I decided to take up on cladding. Now, what can I do on cladding? Blah, 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 blah. So I sold this product that was new in the market then, which is called 3D wall panels. And I went for it, I researched more about it. And um, even, even actually, my plan was to start manufacturing it. However, I didn't. I actually foc- I refocused myself from that. Mm-hmm. You know, the more you grow, the more you reinvent yourself. Because I realized that the machines to, to make that product alone were almost 25 million. And then again, you're importing a machine worth 25 million, buying, then it's beauty and everything else. By the time you finish, are you sure you, this product will have the good traction in the market to give you, to pay back the investment, actually you make you more money. Mm-hmm. So it was not making my, my business sense for me to, to, to manufacture it myself. Mm-hmm. So we continued importing, and then we refocused on other things, you know, and then the discovering yourself. Mm-hmm. So um, that was around uh, October, November. In November, I got a shop. Someone called me. Uh, You're looking for a shop in Nyali? Yes. Where? Nyali in Popote Pale. Mm-hmm. Sawa. My sister, I put for my sister a shop, uh, but uh, she's relocating to uh, her home country, which is TZ. Now we are going to give you the shop, but at a fee, of course. So he agreed and everything else. I paid whatever I needed to pay, and then I closed because I didn't have money. <laughs> <laughs> so Nile, it, it was giving me motivation just to go to the shop, see the shop, close it up. Mm. So I started making the shop with other places. So I get a, a, some work somewhere. I overbuy material. Mm-hmm. Basically, I overcommit my profits. So whatever I get as profits, I buy material to make my, my side. Yeah. And I started. I opened the shop. Uh, around December, November, December, and I was so happy. And then now the rest is history. Did did anyone, when you declined the offer from the Lions Den, did anyone tell you you had made a bad choice? By many, declining? many of them, many of them. Even no, actually on the on the platform on the Lions the Lions themselves mm-hmm. um, during the discussion because I was still standing there. Mm-hmm. Uh, someone like Chris, he told, uh, he told the lady that uh, the guy is very smart. And, but this, those are the things I'm saying. When I got out, they really encouraged me. The guy, yeah. said the guy is very smart to receive the deal. Because blah, 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 blah. And then, you know, they were thought, I don't know my, my value in terms of the assets I have, the way I've built the company, the way I have come from, you know, the market shares and all those things. So by the time, I, you know, they were asking me questions and I was answering them up front. So, um, of course, the lady knew she had lost something good. But again, she couldn't retract. After that, after uh, outside, there are so many people who are telling me you could have gone for it. 
you go for it do you make your money and then sell the company you know people are thinking in that way but again um why should i you know i will be now market driven all of a sudden yeah. from passion driven um I, i i am i want to be a billionaire but i don't want to do it the wrong way i would rather just remain a millionaire i would rather have me doing a thousand there if there is because there are also values and trust and things that i also have as a person as a christian and so many other things yeah. so there are, there are, there are places i thought as much as i don't want to focus on the money i want to focus on the goal mm-hmm. so this is the goal and this is the money the money is coming in another way that i don't want i don't want it let me let me remind you something there's, there's something i remember you, you mentioned um, there was an expo at uh, one of the hotels mm. and someone asked you to put up a stand for him and asked you to give a quotation you gave a quotation and his question was are you sure these things are of value yes because you quoted where you think in your mind you had not um okota kumgonga sana yeah but the way he mentioned it i remember you asking us yes um do you guys think i underquoted yes and because we were your boys and you want to support yeah. you what he told you is ongeza your pesa your profit near to but i get to say the my idea i remember, I remember that conversation yeah. because yeah. i think you 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 um, quoted for the tvs the stand yes, yes, yes. and everything else those are under random company yes, yes. And, and and you kept asking guys do you think i have quoted because what i had quoted i don't even put my mark up but according to him the 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 quote that i i gave him shows that you know how people think just because something is expensive means means it's of value yeah so just because you put a, a cost to this pair of jeans at 10,000 shillings doesn't mean that that is its value yeah that is just what you have yes, valued yes, it yes, at yes. but you had already done your valuation yes. you already knew this is my profit which like you're saying you don't want to get that, that profit in a in yeah. a wrong way yeah. because the wrong way would have been double that price yes but you still went and said you know what this, i already have my profit here yeah. this is enough for me yeah. um I, i was telling someone the other day There's a guy who come tani he was a mandazi and he kifika at 39 mandazi yake meisha but he says this whatever I've made until at 39 it is enough for me hakuna mm. haja niende hiyo the hiyo ile ulafi ya kwenda kununua unga yeah. i come and make again yeah. this is okay yeah. 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 that is and and, and it, for some someone might look at it as it doesn't make business sense you already have customers there's already demand yeah. supply it yeah but like you say you still want to be a billionaire or a thousand there or 10000 there yeah but the correct way the same people who were in campus mm-hmm. who are giving me business in their campuses from school sorry from uh, what is it called from clubs and all that mm-hmm. all of a sudden have cleared school they have gotten employment and they they influential also somehow mm-hmm. in their companies mm-hmm. so they're also giving me business mm-hmm. so my market continued now but now from a di- in a different scope you know i'm no longer doing t-shirts but i'm doing this and then there's people who get you know if you work in an organization whereby all of a sudden they want to redo a space mm. you think about donkeys yeah. so that's how again now i got now to grow in in uh, in design and then it gave me more more more, more confidence and then more confidence self esteem una kuta kidogo na una and then speaking about yourself mm. I, i i i i am one of those persons that I hardly used to tell my story. Mm. I used to be I used to feel ashamed of who I am. Mm. I used to feel so much um shame saying I was like this and I grew up like this. I couldn't speak. You know I had to learn English. Mm. I had to learn Swahili. I was shrubbing like no one's business. Mm. So all these things coupled in one jug. You know it's not, it's not a joke, man. Yeah. You 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 are you feel valueless, honestly. Mm. You can't even talk to people. You can't. Um, you can't make a sentence that is Swahili. Mm. Me, I've, I've, I've grown in. Uh, I've grown with my grandmother mm. for for almost close to half my life. So mm. there in Shags, you know, I was taught English in our mother tongue. One <laughs> 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 you know, yeah. something like that. Yeah. And uh, then all of a sudden, as a teenager, uh, there are also issues as a teenager there's so many you know growing adolescence issues and all that so everything coupled in one was, was not a joke and then after that bad education pia kidogo chini you know so for me it's it's something I'll, I'll, i i see it it came gradually mm-hmm. by accepting who i am accepting that this has happened mm-hmm. 
and uh, this one does not define me. You know, I'm not defined by the moment. Mm-hmm. Uh, and also, I accepted that I can't change this, but I can change the future. So the future is what I'm working on, not yeah. now. Now it's happened. I have daddy issues, yes, uh, it, but they, up to today, you know, daddy issues are still there. Mm. But w- what do I do now to correct things? Now do I even now I, in my family as well now? I flip the coin, making sure that I am a better daddy to my kids. To my kids, I am present. I provide. You know, I do things. It's like vengeance, kinda. I'm revenging yeah, now, yeah. <laughs> but now I'm not revenging to the individual. I'm revenging now to to my kids. You know, making sure that you know they get everything. So for me, even in in business, that's how I have grown. And then I have been. My diligence is still the same. Um, I don't I don't like taking too much. I, I refuse business by the way, so many other times. But I like doing something, and I feel I've done it well. If I, ta- if, I, if I come to a space, it's a, if it's, a, it's, a, it's a nightclub, a restaurant, or whatever, in a commercial business, uh, in, a, in a commercial space, sorry, the way I approach it, I approach it with so much passion so that by the time I leave, I don't feel as if I was looking for money. There's so much satisfaction in what I created. And then I train people now to also, you know, be with me, uh, get my standards, and all that. And that's what I want, you know. So it, it has opened a lot of doors for me. Um, it has given me a higher niche in comparison to the people who are called my competitors. I also learned to collaborate with my competitors rather than compete with them. Mm. So it confuses them. You know, I don't, co- I hardly compete with anyone. Mm-hmm. I see people posting Facebook, din, 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 din. it's okay. Even some of these junior designers and other people who come, who are coming up, I'm actually one of the people who actually hold their hands, you know train them show them now this is not done like this when you handle a client to do like this basically i don't i I recognize there's something called competition but i don't use that word on myself i use collaboration what does that have pass up but business has that i can put in my business that can make me more value than them themselves if they are this i'll push them i'll push them into my business if they they do better gypsum the ceilings than us i'll give them work but i do that i give them work and then i have my marker yeah um, if it's, you know, basically keeping, redefining, redesigning, reinventing, it's, 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 it's endless. I research too much. I've gone through so much school online now. You know, I keep on uh, doing uh, courses, by the way, I've never stopped. Um, even the, the focus on my business now, from uh, a service industry, now we are heading into manufacturing. Now big time, that is actually what I'm eyeing it. We've gotten machines for some of the things we want to invest in. You know, basically, we don't get tired. So some of those things, the more they keep you feeling as if you're worthy in the industry, it gives you a mark from in your heart. And then it, it makes your belief now become better than before. Um, let's talk about how you, a bit of how you handle your finances. At some point, your wife was handling your finances. And... Um, I remember there was a time you complained that your wife has allocated money to everything else except you. <laughs> that your wife is not paying you and you're the creative here. Yes, yes. So how did you move from that to now employing someone to deal with your finances? Initially, when uh, I was alone, and uh, I used to do everything. I'm the accountant, I'm the, you know, I'm everything. Yeah. Uh, then I grew from that to now giving, uh, delegating. And her, you know, what she did in school was business management. So yeah. she did it better than I. Mm-hmm. Then another thing is she's, um, she's, she's a disciplined person as well when it comes to such things. Uh, she had proven, you know, when she was in school, uh, in uh, campus, I was still doing t-shirts. And she used to, to use some of her pocket money to pay my rent. You know, when things, you know, sometimes business is not very good. Yeah. So that, that's the person that shows you, by the way, uh, she can easily allocate. You know, that is what matters. Someone who has a discipline mm-hmm. of getting 100,000 and deciding I'm not going to party with it. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm not going to buy all clothes with all this money. Mm-hmm. Um, then she did it for a while, but again, with, with a desire to set systems mm-hmm. and the desire to grow as a company, then you keep on growing uh, everything. So one of the things we grew is, you know, we couldn't, she's not an accountant. She's not a trained accountant. So she was doing it, but she was, she was, uh, we had, uh, we still do, mm-hmm. up to today, we had a consulted accountant mm-hmm. who we pay monthly. Mm-hmm. And we still do it up to today. So our accountant in the office is, there's an overseer. Mm. 
And then now there is me. I don't care about accounts. Mm-hmm. They just want to see profits and loss. Yeah. I don't understand anything. <laughs> <laughs> I only understand quotations and all yeah. that. But basically this balancing and everything, mm-hmm. I don't care. Mm-hmm. For you to yearn to be somewhere, you also yearn to keep on growing. You don't, you know, you don't grow business. You don't grow income alone. Mm-hmm. When you grow income alone and there are no systems, there's, it's just a mess. Because mm-hmm. today you are making a hundred thousand or fifty thousand shillings. All of a sudden, all your works are in millions. Mm-hmm. What do you do? You know. And then again, she is also a mother. She has other responsibilities apart from just being yeah. under. And, and, and you know, um, the way we have set up, uh, in my desire, mm-hmm. she would rather just mother forever. Mm-hmm. You know, I would want my kids to be brought up the best way possible. And she does that one perfectly. So then giving her time off when she when she when when we were blessed with a with a baby, mm-hmm. uh, normally it's normally a three three month leave. Mm-hmm. We in our company, not in our company, sorry, in my situation between my wife and I, mm-hmm. I, I give her one year leave. Mm-hmm. Uh, for my second born, I've given her two years leave. Mm-hmm. I'll do everything. And she's paid by the way, her salary still comes in, mm-hmm. but she's not working. Specifically because she tends on that side. Mm. So the same way then, she can't leave a, a, a void, you know. The, we, we needed the company to proceed. So you had to hire an accountant, a professional accountant, someone who knows what they're doing, that, who are trained to do that. Yeah. Then it eases my burden as well. Mm. Because now I now have to do, because before that we had to do so many things together. Now she, someone handles, another person overseas, then there's an there's a auditor. The whole crew is good. Mm. Then... Um, we grew other people. We employed designers in the office. You know, give interns uh, opportunities. We have someone who oversees all the sites. We have a driver. We have, you know, we have, you know. So basically, when you're growing, you can't grow with the same systems. Yeah. Systems have to keep on changing. So you can't even if you, um, you know, the the problem with entrepreneurship is when you start thinking. At some point, I love to employ someone. Right now, I love the fact that every every single coin is coming to me. Yeah. But then you're thinking. Like you're saying, as, as much as you want the money, you still need someone to give you the relief of, let me handle the finances, yes. or let me handle the yes. design, let yes. me handle the, the manufacturing, yes. and relieve you of the burden so that you can start creating more. Yes. Because sometimes when you, you, your hand is in everything, your, even your creative juices don't flow easily. In the same way, the reason why, you know I didn't say the reason why I stopped doing weddings and t-shirts. Mm-hmm. It's basically because I realized if, you know there's a saying that says, uh, if someone kicks one kick a million times is better than a million kicks so many times. Yeah. The same way, I realized by the way, my niche is doing this. Let me give it all my time so that I can become so good in it mm-hmm. to a point that when I decide now I want to do something else, I'm already perfect in this. Mm-hmm. Even to today, I don't invest in businesses that I don't understand. Someone will come to me, oh, donkeys, kuna shamba ina uzwa. I'll, you know, I will, I don't, I don't know how it works, mm-hmm. you know. I don't know how you can come to Flanagan or Zakenyo Ziake, you know, no way. I don't do those things because I, I don't know how a barber shop runs. Yeah. So even in my own setup, I don't like doing so many things at the same time. So well, the reason why I will employ another designer, and I'm also a designer, mm-hmm. it's so that that person takes up some roles that I don't want to do. Such that now, I, you know, I, I play two roles. Mm-hmm. I play a role of the, of, the, of the design team in the office. Mm-hmm. I also play a role of now managing the whole business scenario. I'm the one who brings almost 95% of businesses in our company. Mm-hmm. So I still keep on, you know, and then I, again, now I also have to teach other people to bring business. Mm-hmm. So I'm a trainer, I am a what, what, you know, there's, there's so many things that I'm doing as an individual. Yeah. So you also want to relieve some things that you don't do so well to mm-hmm. other people who can are perfect in it, mm-hmm. such that what you are so good in, mm-hmm. you thrive in it. Even if you train people and they go away to do their own, count mm-hmm. yourself as a blessing, you know. Um, it's, it's important, ever, ever important, to show others how the game is done. Mm. Because, you know, even assuming if I am not there today, some of the people will actually continue making Dunkey's arts to become. Mm. I can tell you for sure, the whole of, even, even now, this month, mm. I think I've been to my office like maximum three times, three or four times, mm. maximum, the whole month. I'm hardly there, mm. but things happen. Me not being there does not mean I'm somewhere sleeping. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm out there, you know, I'm in the field. I do, um, because now my, my schedule, I just become so tight. Mm-hmm. I will wake up, my normal waking time at the moment, it's 2.33 a.m. 
I will either be my in my own home office from 3 a.m. to 10 a.m. Then from 10 11 I start going to sites. Then by four five, most of most of the day three four, mm-hmm. I'm closed. I'm home. Play with the kids. Stay there. Maybe around the house to apple. Mm-hmm. Around Samoja and Nusu, Sambili, I'm in the bed. I'm already sleeping. Mm. So that's my normal routine. Uh, there are some, some, most of some days now, like now we have some projects running on the other side of the on Mombasa, South Coast. Mm-hmm. So still wake up the same time. Make sure by 5, 5, 5.05, 5, 5, 5, 4.50, between 4.30 and 5.30 I've already crossed. To heading, South Coast. He- heading to South Coast. By mm-hmm. 6 I'm on site. So even most of my employees on the other side, they're usually shocked. Yeah. I'm, every day I find them off guard. They never expect me. So we, 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 we have a culture of starting at work very early. Mm-hmm. We don't start work at 8. We start work way early, 6.30, 7. Mm-hmm. You know, because for us, me, for me, is basically, uh, let's get it done. Mm-hmm. You know, we are not here to just push the days and get employment. Yeah. This has to be done. Let's get it done. We go to the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. So that is discipline around the whole thing. Mm-hmm. And and sometimes it beats me bad. Mm-hmm. You know, you keep the discipline. People believe, hey, dankies, man, say, ask this, ask this, ask this. So most of the time you keep yourself on check. Mm-hmm. When I tell people we need to meet, like most of the time when I'm, I'm, I'm crossing and people need a lift, mm-hmm. I tell them I'm picking you at a certain spot at 4.15 a.m. <laughs> if you're not there at 4.15, I'll give you grace for three minutes. And they know that. It's usually three minutes. After three minutes, I'll come up on you, my mini man. So like that, Sometimes now I get late myself. Mm-hmm. I can't afford mm. any you any lazy man give you the You yourself you have to work yourself. Sometimes you already set a standard. Yes, you set so a you standard. Yeah. Everyone knows mm-hmm. that I keep time. <laughs>